and Insta. We wait. <gasps> yeah, once they go live on Insta. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> or just kind of, what's that called? A squirtle. A squirtle. Mm. A squirtle. <laughs> oh my God. I don't know if this is working. Yes, I, I play Pokemon Go, and so I had to take a picture of a water type Pokemon, so forgive me. That was a squirtle. <laughs> I just have to request on. Oh, we're going to nerd out <laughs> right after this, Maggie. Uh, so we are live on Facebook. Hi. We're live on Instagram. Just waiting for oh, here our we go. special guests to ask to join. Hello, Kitchen Table Talk crew. Happy Thursday, everyone. Hello. We are just getting all the tech going on Instagram and Facebook both because when we do our kitchen table talks, we actually live stream from both places. So it just takes us a minute to get it going. There we go. Let the marshmallows in. Let the marshmallows in. <laughs> <laughs> you probably squeeze through any door. This marshmallow. <laughs> I just hear Lila's voice going, they're so squishy. <laughs> <laughs> so for them to, um, All right. Did you guys accept our invite on Instagram? Yeah, yeah we hit requested and it's just um, circling. They hit requested and it's circling. Hmm. Interesting. I see that. Do you want me to try to do it on my phone? You know, internet connections. You can have everything know, set up seriously. and then the wonderful worldwide wireless web 2020 like fun. Okay, let me <laughs> go around that way. Sorry, everybody. Okay. I'm going to try it again. Okay. We closed it out. We're going to try it again. Great. They're, they're trying again, Danielle. Okay. Refreshing. Okay. We just resent a request. Great. Stop. Ta da! Ah. Do, 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 do. Hello. Oh. All right, I'll Hello. tell a knock knock joke while we get the tech I love going. It. Um, give, us, give us a good one. Knock knock. Who's, Who's there? there? Keith. Keith who? Keith me, you sweet print. <laughs> <laughs> It was the only oh, one that came to my head. <laughs> That's a good one. I haven't heard that. I have, yeah, I have not heard that one. <laughs> it's showing people are joining the live, but not us on the live. Instagram. We're we're closing it out and restarting. We're gonna close it out. Restarting. Okay. If it doesn't work that time, then we'll just we'll go with our just, Facebook crew yes. and get this party started. Yeah, that's my phone. That's world, why. There's a song mm -hmm. that we're singing. Exo Marshmallow joining us on Kitchen Table Talk. Live on Instagram. It's my new song. All right, one more time. Third time's a charm. Drum roll, please. It's not a knock knock joke, but my favorite joke to tell is. A skeleton walks into a bar and he says, I'll take a beer and a mop. A beer and a what? A mop. <laughs> Gotta clean it up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she shakes her head. I love it. <laughs> oh, goodness. I used to be very critical of jokes when I was younger. Like, like, didn't get the punchline, but it had to sound good. Yeah. Know. Now, do you have a favorite joke? It's been so long. Yeah, I don't even you know, know what jokes are. My life is a joke. Not gonna happen. Uh, they just need to. They need to come into the. Are they in there? All uh, right. Did you guys? We restarted the live. I don't know if you guys went back in. Yeah. Yeah, we're in. We're in it. We see people joining and everything. Oh, good old That's Mark Zuckerberg so is just. Are you on the Wi-Fi? 
I would turn your Wi-Fi off. Turn the Wi-Fi off. That's yeah. A good idea. Because you're Meanwhile, so Facebook's pressure. just getting a great pandering. All right, we're doing it one more time, people. One more time. One more time. One more time. One more time. Hang on, hang on. We're... All right, we just joined. Other people are trying to end Request. Oh, here All right, we're requesting yeah. again. Oh, oh. Oh, good, good, good. Hi, Christina. Stay put. <laughs> Not go. We're yeah. just trying to get our tech up and running here. Drum rolling. No? It looks all perfect. I know. Yeah, we requested. And we accepted. Mm -hmm. And then it just didn't happen, huh? Mm -hmm. Give okay. it a minute. There's a lag. Yeah, we'll just leave it up. And if it starts, it starts. If not, we'll leave it up and yeah, and see what happens for yeah. our for a minute. Yeah, well, so Instagram people, we're trying to get XO Marshmallow, our special guests attached to our live. We're clearly having some technical difficulties. We're giving it a minute to see if they sync up and pop on. If not, or just in general, we have successfully landed them on Facebook. Go to Facebook. <laughs> so, and if worse comes to worse, we will download and post the video to Instagram for your viewing pleasure with all the good tags. But to get this ball rolling, oh, that's what it says. It just said something in red. Forgive my neck. No, we can't. It just did something in red, so I'm trying it one more time. Right. But hello, Kat and Lindsay of XL Hi. <laughs> <laughs> hello. So we are, I, I'm like over the moon to have you on Kitchen Table Talks because I think that your business is so unique. I think it's incredibly well branded and well done, like every little detail about it. Not only that as a brand um, and as a small business, but the product is out of this world. The quality, the thoughtfulness that goes into it, I just think it's incredible. So um, do one of you want to tell us who XO Marshmallow is, what you guys do? Take it away. Ooh. Yeah, thanks. Take it away. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're XO Marshmallow. Have we a marshmallow company? And what that means is we're making delicious treats all the time in varieties of different flavors. So we make everything from salted caramel to Nutella to now we just added pistachio, which is one of Lindsay's my favorite, favorite um, to the roster. And the idea behind our brand is just kicking up a notch that nostalgia that most people have when they think of marshmallows, everything from s'mores to hot chocolate. We just want to like make it a little bit extra um, and also make it really fun and whimsical, which is a very important part of our brand is just bringing the fun, bringing the party. I think you do an amazing job at that. I mean, just the, even the product names are, are awesome. <laughs> Thank Tell you. Us, I'm curious, what's your absolute bestseller across the board? Yeah. Um, our absolute bestseller across the board is our deck cone dough. So it's the one that looks like an ice cream cone, but it's still. I should have gotten that one. Doritos? It looks so good. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> no, it's, and so I think it's just because like it's just this crazy unique concept where it looks like an ice cream and you open it up and it's filled with cookie dough and marshmallows and who doesn't love each of those separately? So why not put them together? Um, and that's definitely, yeah, that's our best seller. Where are you guys located? In? Chicago. Okay, so it's you're cold too. We're both we're both <laughs> oh, in cold yeah. weather states. It's been so very chilly cold. here. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. And do you manu do you manufacture like are you a brand and a manufacturing facility under one roof, or do you have kind of a space for the brand and the and, and the marketing and all of that, and then a separate factory for the marshmallows? I'm just curious as a business owner. Yeah, we make everything in house. Yep. 
when uh, yeah, we it, first started, it was just marshmallows. And then with opening our cafe space in 2017, we had the ability to produce a little bit more than just marshmallows. And we started playing around with our marshmallow cream, which we call OMG for We Marshmallow Goodness. And people immediately, we, we put it in the cafe and then people were like, oh my gosh, I could just eat this out of like a pint. And we thought, oh, little pints of fluff, like that's yeah. awesome. So oh that's, you know, we started branching out. We make Rice Krispie treats. We call them dream bars because they're so dreamy. And then we started playing around with other treats, which is kind of how we ended up with some of our best sellers like that condo. We have marshmallow turtles. We make our own hot cocoa mix. Um, and something that's really important to us is being accessible to as many people as possible. And so one thing we noticed when we first started was that all of our products in terms of marshmallows are naturally gluten-free. And we've tried to carry that through our production facility as well. So our, we make graham crackers in house that are gluten-free because they were kind of hard to source. Um, and that's part of why we, we definitely keep control of the production. And we know that there are other like brands out there or companies that might outsource and just kind of slap their name on it. No, we, we want, we want to know exactly what's going on um, and how to, to grow with, with kind of what we've learned along the way. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. That's so cool. This might sound really weird, but for whatever reason, when we got the marshmallows, I was envisioning them to be like harder and firmer. <laughs> and I was so blown away when it was so it, it's like a soft it's a cloud yeah it's like a cloud is that just like no junk going into the marshmallows like why was I so pleasantly surprised <laughs> what's going yeah. on in your marshmallows it's definitely the no junk factor so you know most people growing up think of like that stereotypical bag of marshmallows you got which is a little firmer you know very processed, full of preservatives and icky things that you probably shouldn't be putting in your body on a regular basis. Um, but gourmet marshmallows, especially the way we make them, are designed to be these pillowy clouds because there's no preservatives, because we try to use natural ingredients when we can, you know, and they're made not in a factory. You know, we have a, a larger commercial kitchen, but they are made by hand and I think that quality really shows in the texture. Oh, it definitely does. Yeah. Pillowy clouds. That's the perfect way to describe yeah. it. Pillowy clouds of that. joy. My daughters were so excited. Although I, I fed the bourbon one to my seven-year-old, but I'm, I don't like in my mind, it, I didn't think it was going to be so bourbony. I don't know why, but I just, and she was like, what she's like they're so soft and then she's like what is this taste i need to try another one so then she had the salted caramel, caramel. yeah and she loved that one but for bourbon lovers those bourbon marshmallows are incredible the flavor <laughs> is out it's outrageous thank you yeah i'm i'm wondering how you come up with the flavors and is there anything that like a, do you have any fun one, story that you can tell of like a flavor you thought was a great idea and then you tried it and you're like okay let's move on <laughs> how we just had that one that we so we're we're in the process of trying to develop um a spicy flavor and let's just say we've never had the greatest luck with spicy flavors mm -hmm. um Kat can, can speak to the mango habanero fiasco, but we, <laughs> we recently tried to come up with, um, it's like a mesquite barbecue sriracha type flavor. And it just not so much. No, I immediately spit it out. I mean, we've done savory flavors before that have worked really well. Avocado toast, flaming hot Cheetos, mm. pickle, all of them come across really well, but this one just ugh, breath. Yeah. Whoopsies. We've dra straight and into the trash. We've definitely <laughs> done flavors that are also like not our personal favorite flavors, but that they people love really well. Yeah. People Cause love. you know, everybody yeah. loves certain things and doesn't like the pickle. Yeah. I love the pickle marshmallow cat. Not you do? I, oh yeah. I do not love I'm pickle, honest. but people like who love pickle love, love it, it. And I can respect that. I'm just like, don't make me try it. Don't make yeah. me try it. <laughs> um, but we when I need the pickle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're, I'm going like, oh, we're going shopping later because I want to try the pickle. I want to send the cotton candy flavor to someone we know. Mm -hmm. um, 
Yeah, there's a few. And we, we're going to get on and get the um, the cones this afternoon. Oh, too. my God, we have to. Yeah. <laughs> so um, one thing that, you know, we'll, we'll say is, so Pickle's not on the roster right now, but, you know, stay oh, tuned. Okay. You never know. But I will say, if you're looking on the website and you're looking at all these different flavors and options, first of all, you can't make a wrong choice. Everything is is great. But also, you know, go like challenge yourself and get something that's a little outside the box because you're probably not going to see it anywhere else. And it's it, you're going to actually probably be surprised because that's like pushing that little boundary that we're talking about. Um, and we've seen people do that all the time in the cafe where they're like, I don't know. And then they get a, a lavender honey marshmallow and it's a total game changer because now you're opening up to the idea of well, what, well, what can I do with this? And we have some favorite go-tos for, you know, like that flavor. We'll, we'll put it in Earl Grey tea, for example. Oh, Instead wow. of adding sugar or cream, it adds a little sweetness and you get a honey and that lavender is aromatic. And, mm -hmm. um, it's, it's just a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun like to a play A little with. dessert, little dessert yeah. after dinner type of, uh, type of drink or before bed even with the lavender. Yeah, I have them before bed. Um, and not only are marshmallows naturally gluten-free, but also fat-free, right? Yeah, so, so in making a marshmallow, um, we, I, I don't wanna say that I'm lazy, but I definitely grew up in an era where the microwave was our friend. And so when we were first developing some of these recipes, it was very important to kind of like take, keep out anything we didn't need. So we just add a few core ingredients and it's, it's literally, you know, we add sugar, we add, um, uh, corn syrup is our invert sugar and, um, a little bit of gelatin. And that's sort of the three basic components. Um, some people will add egg whites. Uh, we don't. Um, some people will add other preservatives or things and, and we don't do that either. Um, and so you're really like, why mess with perfection, you know, after that? Absolutely. I but, agree with that. Yeah. Like one marshmallow is a great little treat. Um, and we always tell people, if you eat an entire pint of our OMG, it's so much better than like eating a whole pint of ice cream. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I'm not, I would be bouncing off the walls if I ate the whole thing, but you know, a few spoonfuls, we're good. Oh no, I'm a, I'm a, you're a whole pint type of guy. I am too. I'm just saying that I'll be fine. Yeah. Place. And it's really weird too. Whenever I'm eating a pint of something, I have to make sure that it like goes down in a straight line. I do that. <laughs> no, I do that too. I thought I was weird. You have to eat it at certain yeah. levels so that it stays mm -hmm. consistent. <gasps> Yay. Wow. I found a friend. Someone who, <laughs> someone who gets me. Thank you. <laughs> That's I thought great. that was weird too. It's good to know I'm we're not. We're just alone. weird. To, we're just weird together. It's fine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How did you guys um, go into business together? How do you know each other? Yeah. So Kat started developing the concept of the marshmallows her last year of law school, and I had just graduated um, grad school. Both of us similarly weren't really sure that that was the avenue we wanted to go. Um, so I actually started a clothing store where I made my own t-shirts and graphic mugs and different things like that. And I had a pop-up downtown and Kat actually applied for a seasonal position at that pop-up mentioned in her interview, she liked to make marshmallows. And I was like, well, that's cool. I make coffee mugs, put some marshmallows in the shop. Like, let's see what happens. And at the end of that seasonal holiday, the number one best-selling item was the marshmallow and mug combo. Ah, and so brilliant. I was, I was like, Hey, I think there's really something special with these marshmallows. You know, I, I do not have a culinary background, but I understand branding and marketing and social media. You know, why don't we become business partners? And Kat promptly said, no. <laughs> <laughs> And, you know, it took a little bit of communication and convincing, and then we became business partners and it's sort of been off to the races ever since. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> How did you convince Kat to go from no to yes? <laughs> I had actually just finished reading a book called The Glitter Plan, which was the book that the co-founders of Juicy Couture wrote about um, their relationship as business partners. 
And so I gave her this book and I was like, read this. If after this, you still don't want to be business partners, that's fine. She read it and was like, all right, let's do this. Wow. Yeah. How it was cool. a- I've never read that book. Oh, I recommend it. Super recommend um, it. Yeah. And it wasn't a no, like you're weird. It was a no as in, <laughs> I, I don't know what the future is and I have potentially a, a legal career to like fall back on. So not wanting to bring somebody in and kind of make a plan and like in six months, if it's not going anywhere, feel like this was a waste of our time and resources. Um, Absolutely. And it, it really was about the communication and about saying, you know what? we both understand that like that's both that's a risk we're both going to take let's each put a hundred dollars in a bank account and see what happens and if at the end of the day it's not much okay um and then i think what we weren't expecting is just how much people are really into marshmallows <laughs> <laughs> right right yeah, that's the fair yeah i didn't know either until i tasted your marshmallows <laughs> i had no idea so now I'm very much into marshmallows and we truly are shopping later today because we all, <laughs> we share an office here um, with the social team. And so we're, we're all huge fans. Um, Danielle, do you have, are there any comments on Facebook or any questions that any, anyone might have? I would love for some of our wave makers to throw out um, um, flavor, like wish list flavors. I think that would be really cool. Donna Turcotte is going to order some of everything. Donna. <laughs> Woo! No, Donna would love, she would love this. Lavender yeah. honey tea, cake tickets and that. Oh, yeah. Everybody's just enjoying the show, ladies. Yeah. I love cool. that. Oh, you know who we should send some of these to, too, is um, Laura Conti for her birthday. Hopefully she's not watching. <laughs> um, we have to do that this afternoon. You know, your last story of the, you know, risk and trust. I can sense across the screen and across the country that, that you guys just seem to be really in tune with each other, which leads me to my one of my favorite questions. <laughs> what is your star sign? I knew it. <laughs> like your astrological it? signs? Yeah. yeah. So I'm weird. So my birthday is November 22nd. So I could be a Sagittarius or a Scorpio. And I usually go with whichever uh, mood I'm in. I, Can I guess, Cat? Sorry. You keep yeah, going, go but then it. I'm going to guess. No, no you guess, Cat. <laughs> is Cat a Libra? No. Capricorn. Okay. <laughs> I think I'd give it a shot. <laughs> Um, Sorry. I, I'm actually a Pisces. I knew it was a water sign. And I didn't want I'm, to say it out loud. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't, I don't know too much about star signs, but somebody told me I'm, I'm like a Pisces and a Pisces and a Pisces. I'm a super Pisces. Really? So, When's your birthday? Uh, February 23rd, actually. Was just, oh, happy just belated. Yeah, thank you. Oh, happy birthday. We have a lot of February birthdays around us. Yeah, who knew there were so many Pisces? A lot of Pisces. It's a popular, every time I say that, everyone's like, oh yeah, I know someone who's a 23rd or 24th. I'm like, yeah, it's a good day to be born. What now, happened nine months ago? Yeah, 10 months ago. That I know, that's been... what I was thinking. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh. It. Let's not, not go back in time. time. Well, you know, they say- because Right around the you, holidays. The... Yeah. Yeah. Champagne, mm -hmm. holiday parties. You know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but Kat, so I, I rudely interrupted you. Uh, I mean, um, Lindsay, I rudely interrupted you when you were saying that you're like right on the cusp of- Oh, Scorpio. yeah. Yeah, it's I was Scorpio just, Sagittarius. I was just gonna say I we're really into the Enneagram. I, I don't pay as much attention to like my astrological sign, but I, I'm very much so in line with okay. my Enneagram, which I'm an eight. So I am a nine and a four. I know what I am. Oh. Nine and a four? Yeah. Can you do that? It was like even percentages for both. So maybe I need to take it again. Danielle, who's one of our social media managers is freaking out right now. She's like, yes, I want that. <laughs> yeah. It's one of those things you have to really kind of like read into a lot. I feel like more than just test into it. And then you'll really, once you get into the nitty gritty, it's kind of like the one that triggers you the most where you're like, well, that's rude. And also that's me. 
Yeah. You know, that's your number. <laughs> what, what number are you? I'm a five. Okay. Um, yeah, we should take this test after. You should. Yeah. It, it's yeah. actually led to a lot of positive insights, I think. Um, and what's great is once you know, not only can you send your friends memes based on their numbers, but you can also <laughs> sort of develop more of like a language of how you communicate to someone versus how they might be reading it. And, it, and that for, I think, both of us has really helped us communicate with each other, with our partners, with, you know, our staff. Um, so that's, and, and it's this great system that's not really rooted in any one religion. It's something that's been built up over time and so many people have contributed to it and there's like a real science. It's kind of cool. I like that it's very encompassing. Yeah. Mm. I love that. Yeah, Danielle sent me a couple of playlists that Spotify playlists that were all about the different numbers and she's like mm -hmm. figure out which one you relate to more or maybe that'll give you because I was oh, when I took the test it was a mm -hmm. nine and a four so I was like oh maybe that will lead me we'll retake we'll it retake. this week mm -hmm. um I have to now that I realize these are over here I have to show everyone as I was talking about the brand what we can't eat them don't now. eat that in there for some a special event but look at that packaging and the branding and just how beautiful it is. I love how you can see the marshmallows inside. These are Funfetti marshmallows and they are incredible. Absolutely incredible. I just need to show that off. And we have the cotton candy marshmallow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and what's more, should we just tell them what's going on? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna let you take it away. We are doing a follow giveaway with XO Marshmallows. So that means on Instagram, we're going to uh, be, put, is it today, Danielle? Huh? Sorry, What's the follow life. giveaway? I'm sorry, I didn't realize you were today. When today? is it today? At 1.30. Right right? Wanna... Live. Okay, today. <laughs> yes, exactly. When we wrap up, we're going to be <laughs> launching our first ever follow giveaway with exo marshmallow where you will receive these delicious gifts so from exo marshmallow you'll receive the fun that the winner will receive the fun fetty marshmallows the cotton candy and the treat yourself marshmallows and then from dune jewelry you will be able to custom create a boho Aww. stacker ring in your size and that can be made with any sand or elements that are special to you. So whether it's shells from a vacation or maybe it's a power stone like turquoise or lapis or malachite, um, you can kind of mix and match and get creative and customize. Or like mine, you can put in sea glass. Yes. <gasps> can That's we win? Cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it'll look really suspicious. Yeah, I'm going to enter the giveaway from my personal Perfect. Well, I've got my beautiful. I know. We got matching ones. Oh my gosh, I love that. What elements did you guys choose? So we did pink carnations and actually oh, right. carnations are like my favorite flower and everybody's always like, they're such a filler flower and I love them. And I, I just love recently that. found out I was showing my mom and she said my great grandmother's favorite flower were carnations. Aww. Oh, so. That's really cool. And they're pink and they're pink, which is so, my favorite color. Yeah. <laughs> I love that story. No, they're not a filler. They're the friendship flower. They are the friendship they flower. Just That's like why I want a matching one. They're just so full and they get around. You know, everyone knows what a carnation is. It's they true. Mm -hmm. It's true. You guys are probably too young, but do you remember? No, you won't. Anyway, back in the Same. day, back in the day, <laughs> you would be at a club or a like a music venue and there would be... All, inevitably one dude walking around with a basket of carnations selling them throughout the club then it graduated to roses but it started with carnations oh. i'm just letting you know and it was like two dollars a flower i remember they the were roses. handing out <laughs> they were not handing out flowers when i was going to the club <laughs> that is not that, what they were handing out no <laughs> <laughs> much different things <laughs> oh no that's great um so what's, do you guys have any upcoming events or like what's on the horizon for XO Marshmallow? Oh, I'm trying to think, I know, I'm trying to think of what, what we can talk about. Um, so we're, 
we're in the process of looking for a new production space, which is really exciting. We, we're growing rapidly. Our team is growing rapidly. So we're currently in the process of looking at a production space that's like 10 times the size of what we have now. So it's super exciting. Oh um, and we're getting ready to launch all of our Easter stuff soon. So next week, we've got our March Marshmallow of the Month will launch, as well as our Marshmallow Chicks which are our hand, hand pipe peeps that we do every year, which always sell out like crazy. So those are launching next Thursday. That's so if anybody's exciting. interested, um, yeah. So it's, it's about to be a peep palooza around here. So it's, it's a That's, real thing. Now are your, your peeps, I'm assuming are a little bit different than the kind you get at the, at CVS, at the no. pharmacy. Yeah. Oh, right. Preserve so those. they're, well, right. <laughs> they're soft, they're soft. So we hand pipe a vanilla marshmallow in the shape of a chick. They're coated in a colored sugar. And then oh we take gosh. chocolate to put little eyes on them and they come in three different colors. Yeah. They're, that they're really incredible. fun. incredible. But like our marshmallows, I think people think they're going to be a lot firmer than they are. Yeah, a lot crunchier um, than they are. And we have had, <laughs> there's, this is a very divisive <laughs> issue. People, oh, some yeah. people like like the super stale peeps and they some do. people like them super fresh and soft. And so last year, especially, I feel like we had a lot of people who would leave the peeps, uh, the, the chicks out and they do get firmer. Um, they do air out. And so you can get that texture and quality. Um, but they're so cute. I mean, they, they're really a great little like Easter basket stuffer or just something to add to an order um, to just make, you know, we've got a lot of people shipping stuff across the country to like friends and family that they can't be with right now. And it's just a little, like a little bit of extra sweetness. My favorite are the, the non-perfect peeps, the ones that the are, we, the, we call them derp, the dirt peeps. So they look a little... <laughs> They look a little derpy because they're hand piped, but their their slight ugliness just makes me love them more. So I'm you always sell excited. them separately. No, you just you know you, you might just be lucky okay. enough to get a little dirt peep in in your package of, of regular <laughs> I'm, ones. I'm freaking out right now because I have four, three nieces, one nephew, and this is already done. Already a done deal for me. Right. So, <laughs> check. I, they're my chicken nuggets. They're going to be getting oh. some chicks from you guys. So <laughs> I'm like, give me all the derpy oh. ones. That is such an Auntie L thing to do. <laughs> oh, so cute. <laughs> Perfect. Don't freak out. And then my sisters will yell at me for giving them sugar. Too much sugar. I know. <laughs> well, but that's what do. answer for. Yeah. Answer for sugar. Trust me. Yes. Agree. And that's what Easter's for too. It is. Yeah. <laughs> Shelly beans. Um, do you have any questions? I know you're always. Okay. Well, it's just super interesting that you guys seemingly were on very different tracks in life. And now you're in like marshmallow maidens, mavericks. I'm trying to think of an alliteration here. Oh, we've got Mafia. it all. We've got it all. Marshmallow Mafia, Marshmallow okay, Mavens, man. S'more Sommeliers, Hot Cocoa <laughs> Hustlers. I like Hot Cocoa Hustlers. I love yeah, it. That's great. Yeah. I, Derby name. Yeah. Yeah. I guess it's not really a question. I guess it's more just an admiration and respect that the pivot. Yeah. Like, you know, I and I can respect it too because hello, I was bartending when I met Holly and figured out what she was doing and <laughs> itched my wagon to hers. So I just got to say bravo. Yeah, That's no, it's incredible. I'd love to see women succeeding and, and smiling, like happy <laughs> with what they do, right? That's the, the bigger thing is doing something you love and being happy about it and, and enjoying it. I, I have one other question and then we want to just talk about where people can follow you and purchase Exo Marshmallow, but um, Kat, what type of law, what kind of lawyer were you, did you yeah. study to be? Um, so mostly intellectual property. Okay. Um, I went Valuable. to Marquette University Law School. And one of the things that's cool about Wisconsin is they have something called um, diploma privilege. So you do a lot of more hands-on training while you're in law school. And when you graduate, you can, you actually can practice in the state of Wisconsin you don't have wow. to sit for a bar. Um, That's incredible. And 
Yeah, it's it's a really cool feature. Um, one of the things that's really nice is like then you're licensed there and you can then take a bar in another state, which a lot of people do. Um, but it actually removes a lot of the crazy competitiveness that you hear about, those horror stories. And it creates created an environment where people were just very supportive. It was a lovely community. There was this idea, especially, you know, when I was in school, it was post recession. There were a lot of people that would come and talk who were really affected by it. And they were like, don't specialize too much, get a broad range of skills. You know, you want to add as much value as possible. Um, and so I did take a lot of like other courses, business classes, took some family law classes, a little bit of everything. Um, and so it's kind of like a liberal arts legal journey, um, but mostly focused in intellectual property. So it has come in handy, I will say, um, for us just being able I to bet. like review contracts. And then we both get to like, I don't know, whip out our diplomas when people are trying <laughs> to just be like, you're just girls doing marshmallow things. You don't know. Yep. Oh, like, yeah. Oh, oh, we, we know. <laughs> Oh, and how satisfying your <laughs> is that? That must be so yeah, nice. very, very satisfying. Nice. I like that. <laughs> I like that. I, I like your I style. I want to be a fly on the wall when you do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you think I just, I wear pink and I'd make marshmallows? How about this? <laughs> oh, Warriors, okay, money master. to see that. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah, great. It's scary. Yeah, it's, it's, scary, yeah, it's a scary moment. So where is the best way for people to find you? Are you most active on Instagram or Facebook? What are you guys doing for social media? Yeah, so we are super active on Instagram. That's where we post the, the majority of our content. You know, there, our business is so visual um, and we show a lot of behind the scenes on Instagram too. We've got a lot of ASMR gold if you're really into like marshmallows being poured or marshmallows being pulled apart. I know a lot of people can watch those for hours. Um, so you can find us at xo.marshmallow on Instagram, or if you are super focused only on the videos, find us on TikTok or xo.marshmallow on TikTok as well. Yes. Yeah, I enjoy looking at your feed. It's just visually mm -hmm. so appealing. Um, you might have, you might convince me to get a TikTok. I'm still resistant. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's me. There. Yeah, Kat's anti TikTok. I'm pro TikTok. Just be prepared to like lose a couple hours of your day. Yeah. Yes, that's TikTok. the problem. <laughs> so there's yeah. so much incredible content on there. It blows my mind. And oh, I think, yeah. how do people have the time to create this? It's amazing. Um, and then it holds me back a little bit, but the social team has so many good ideas for our TikTok coming up. So we're going to get there. Mm. Yeah, I'm excited to see what. I'm just there. a stubborn millennial, you know. I I would love to watch the jewelry being made on TikTok. Yeah. I, I would yeah. watch that for hours. Like you show me how you put the chrysanthemums and like I or the carnations in there, I would just be mesmerized. I know that's what I was doing on the Instagram was just watch. There were some videos where it was just like dropping petals, and yeah. I'm like, do more. I want to see more petals. Oh yeah, I, let's do it. There's or a like sand. I don't know. Playing people love that playing with sand and stuff like there's a company that um a makes idea. tile and they just post videos of like how they oh, hand yeah. paint their tile and I could watch that for hours oh my god this is such this is huge feedback <laughs> yes, for us so <laughs> everyone I mean, nodding in the office if yeah. you guys get it going and maybe I'll get a tiktok yeah okay if you get a tiktok okay. gotta get a tiktok you know what so I will gotta have a pact and I like if this if you get a tiktok I will get it. We'll get it. Okay, there we so go. We'll have to reconvene, and then we'll have the youngest employee in the room show us how to do it. That'll, yeah, my daughter. She's seven. She'll take take us through it. It'll be fine. The most depressing thing happened the other day at the studio. So our office admin, Bex, she's a dream. She's lovely. It was the end of the day and she was playing the Spice Girls, and I was, you know, of course, yeah. singing along. Five in laughing vibing and she goes i wasn't even born when this song came out oh, and it was just did like, she? <laughs> um because i asked her who she used to pretend like what spice girl yeah, what was spice she girl were when, you ginger? yeah that's it. i wanted to be a ginger but my older sister took ginger and forced me to be baby so <laughs> <laughs> there's your there's your, your sad 
now. Just how you are cusp Scorpio Sagittarius. Yeah. I am cusp You're baby cusp ginger. Yeah, that makes full <laughs> yeah. sense. Yeah, but oh my God, when she said that, I was just like, <sighs> yeah. My yeah, no, get my walker out. <laughs> I watched the Britney Spears documentary with my younger sister and the amount of times I had to pause it to explain to her where we were culturally in like 2007. It was wow. up, so upsetting for me. <laughs> and I was like, you don't understand before 2020, 2007 was like the reference year for when you had a bad day. Yeah. Now I think we've safely topped it, but think about that. Like marinate, you don't know. She just didn't know. She didn't know. I just, yeah. No. Yeah. So we feel you. We feel you on the the Spice Girls thing. Mm-hmm. That's. I would cry. <laughs> I would walk. Out I mean, I'm cry. still thinking about it. I'm still like, oh my god. She's just getting it, verbalizing it, getting it out there. Okay. Yeah. Sweep it aside. It's all right. It's like me booking Maggie's plane ticket, and her 1998 was the birth date. And I'm like, excuse me, what was? Say that again. <laughs> 1998. Okay. Like that. <laughs> it's insane to me that you know my the the t- our team here is nine, born in 1998 yeah and I'm not yeah. saying when I was born I'm not but I'm, you know I'm not a sh- I love getting older and I love kind of the, the privilege of getting yeah. older because so many people don't get to but it's just the reference of the past and how you like I realize how skewed my perception can be of certain things because I don't know what it's like to be born in 1998. <laughs> so I have to check myself daily. Well, and there's to so me, much the 80s are still 10 years better. ago. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Lindsay, I agree 100%. I think it's, um, yeah, it's fun. And there's, it gets funnier and funny. Like when my kids joke about, I don't even know. I don't need to get into it with you guys, but like, <laughs> they'll make jokes about like certain lines on my face or my flat butt or and they giggle and they think it's so funny and I'm like listen (laughs) like this body has gotten me here and we're gonna love it I'm gonna love it you're gonna love it we're we're all good Mm -hmm. um but yeah I mean it's it's incredible and then the Britney documentary we can't even go into that that'll be the next yeah we'll have a call just for that I don't think you get a chance to watch it. I haven't because every time my husband won't watch it with me and he works from home. (laughs) So I'm only home when he's home and it just. You know what you say? This is an important (laughs) documentary about American history and the way that women are treated. You sit down and watch this because I am a woman and you need to hear my story. (laughs) I had to fight my battles though because I've got him watching Gossip Girl. Okay. Okay. All right. Fair enough. (laughs) So like I've got him watching Gossip Girl and we just got to like the Miss Carr plot lines, which have him very angry. Like I'm like, good, now you understand. So yeah. I've, I've got to, I've got to fight my battles. So maybe maybe after Gossip Girl, I'll watch something boy related and then convince him to to watch Britney Spears. Yeah, give and take. Fair. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. it's compromise. That's give and take. So true. Hear the TV. My husband and I have gotten to like separate rooms at this point, not in a contentious way, just like. Me and the girl, I have two daughters, so we'll sit in the cozy room and watch Heartland. Have you guys ever heard of Heartland? It's like a horse show made in Canada. Yeah. So I good. There's like 14 seen. seasons. Fantastic. As when you have kids. I think it's fantastic anyway, but um, so and then he'll be in watching football. It's football or whatever sports are are happening at the moment, which I respect sports, but I'm not. I can't sit and watch them on TV. I like to go yeah. to games though. Yeah, I like to go to games. For sure. Yeah. I'll go anywhere with One of my favorite games that I went to was a Cubs game. Oh. I was so excited when I was in Chicago and I got to, because it was Fenway Park and um, Wrigley Field Mm -hmm. are the two oldest ballparks Mm -hmm. in America. And I went and I was like, oh, this is like Fenway, but it was painted white. (laughs) They're like bizarrely the same. They're very similar. I am. I love going to baseball games. And so I'm trying to go to every stadium um, at least once. Um, And I haven't had the opportunity to go to Fenway yet, which really bums me out. Every time we're in Boston, we're there for work. So I don't know, are you guys familiar with Fluff Fest that happens in- Yes. So we go to Fluff Fest every year and we have a booth there because Boston's where Marshmallow Fluff was invented. Yeah, wow. In Somerville. Sandy and Eric know. I bet they we do. Have, we have two um, 
sand artists that work here and they are obsessed with fluff. So that's how I know yeah. about fluff. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah, no, I ate like fluff, peanut butter and fluff. All fluff and It's, yeah. it's so good. now I'm thinking about it. I could definitely go for a peanut butter and fluff sandwich now. And my girls, they've never tried it. <gasps> fluff and nutters, come on. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I should do that. Um, next time Fluff Fest is on, you guys need yes. to come out. And oh, we need to buffer in a day and we'll go to Fenway. <gasps> yes. And you'll try some Fenway Franks. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I'm so like, as soon as travel is allowed, eating. we are like doing this. Yeah. yeah Last yeah. time we went, Nick ran my fiance. He came with me and, and he like ran around it. He was just so excited. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm over here just like snacking. Yeah, that sounds yeah. great. Yeah, it's wonderful. No, we love Boston. Yeah, love Boston. That would be so fun. Love Union yeah. Donuts. I do yeah, love Union beautiful. Donuts. Yeah, I love all the food. I love. We did a food tour. Oh, of so Boston. Good. Yeah, it was a North End Ooh. food tour, and I was just yes. like, I could live here. This is where I live. These are my people. Like yeah, mostly Italian restaurants. Like, just roll me across the street yeah. to the next one. <laughs> yeah and the history I'm with you. is amazing oh yeah I love Boston mm -hmm. it's so good yeah we'll come out you're saying we'll see. all the things I feel about Chicago so <laughs> yeah that's true I, I, like food. yeah I love Chicago too I wouldn't I don't know if I would live anywhere else right now well I would live other places in like January I mean, February yeah yeah I could, I could snowboard yes. it for sure agree um you guys this was so fun catching up with you. Um, and I, lo I love hearing your story. I know I said it a million times. I just love seeing women succeed. So um, I'm hoping all of our wave makers that are watching are going to go to Instagram and do our follow giveaway. Um, and some lucky winner is going to get a ton of great stuff. Super. And um, yeah, this, this collaboration has been so much fun. And make sure whoever's watching, go follow XO Marshmallow because they're incredible. If anything you're going to find great gifts and you're going to find great visuals that make you happy and smile yes and apologies instagram for the technical difficulties right. but we will be posting this video on our igtv so no worries if you're on instagram make sure you watch check our igtv <laughs> yes yes all right Sorry. All right. <laughs> Thanks so much again for having Thank us. You guys, Thank you guys so much. so much. I feel like I could talk to you for like 10 know, more hours. Too. So yeah. we need to cut it off before the day gets away. <laughs> okay, bye guys. Bye guys. Bye.